So normally this Tuesday video is more of a video geared toward projects that I do outside of the shop. Well, I've got to take this wheel, this logging wheel, and take it from a vertical position and put it in horizontal so I can cut the tenons. But there's some things that I need to do before that. So this video is kind of a before work instead of after work. Well, back when I was focusing more on doing wheels, whenever I would do heavy wagon wheels or cannon wheels, I would come to this drill press here. It's an old style and it has a Van Dorn drill on it. It runs an RPM of about 450. It's pretty powerful drill. So I use this for my heavy wheels. Well, I also use this for the borax wagon wheels. And I take this stand off and adapt it to a framework that I built for my wheel stand. So to accommodate taller wheels, I did take this solid shaft and turn it down. And then I made this shaft that goes on top. It's actually just kind of a pipe, but I turned the OD so that it matches. So this whole drill press can go clear up and down. Well, I don't need that for these wheels. I'm gonna take that off. And I'm gonna do the same thing for these Holt logging wheels. Take this assembly off and put it on my wheel stand. And then I need to adjust it larger than the borax wagons because they were only just shy of seven feet, 80 inches. These are gonna be 120. So I need to adapt that as well. And this whole assembly is kind of a bench mount affair. I have it just bolted to this heavy table, but I don't need the whole plate or the whole base. I'm just going to unfasten it and take it right out of the base and get that to happen here. That's what I need. So this is the framework that we built for the wheel stand when we did the borax wheels. Remember how this goes in? I might have to take this drill press off. I don't remember for sure. You know, this goes in that end. Looks like maybe I have to take it off and thread it through. I really don't remember. Maybe this has to come out first, huh? So, well, this is the tenon that we built to do the borax wheels. I use the same auger on these here. And I think I'll bring it right about down to the end of my framework in there somewhere. Just kind of fasten it right there. Well, this has about four and a half inches of travel and I need to cut four, so that'll work well. Well, this is the stand that I adapted and it's actually on the base of the stand that I set tires on, but I take that head out and then I have this that I built again. This is just a heavy one inch plate. I have that grease so it'll spin well. So I'm gonna measure five feet from the center here roughly out to the tip of my tenon auger. And that's just kind of a good guess. I'm 61 inches there. I could actually go out a little more between the bases. Yeah, I'm at 74 inches there. I have some adjustment along this post here so I'll do that. So I have tabs welded on to my stand of my wheelbase, or this is my wheel building stand. And I also have tabs welded on the base of my tire setting stand that I'll now mount this to. 
So I'm going to take a couple of maybe half by two straps, 74 inches long, and bolt these two stands together. So when I mount this logging wheel on this stand, the end of the spokes are going to come out here and be in line to cut those tenons. Now I can adjust the height of both of these to where I can get the end of this tenon auger running right at the center of the hub so that my spoke tenons are in the right angle. Now I got a piece of half by two I'm going to put on my top. I didn't have two pieces of this. My next step up was five eighths by two. That seemed kind of like an overkill. So the bottom I have a three eighths by one and a half is what I've used normally on all my other applications as well. So this will work. So the whole point of this is to keep my two stands exactly opposite of each other. And the goal is to have this drill headed right to the center so I can keep that straight and I can make slight adjustments here as I need to. But vertical, I should be pretty straight. So I can cut that tenon headed right to the center of that hub. Now the ID of this hub is five and a quarter. The second hub is five and a half. So obviously it's gonna be a little loose on my three quarter inch post. So as I set that hub down here, I need something to keep that centered. So I'm gonna take a piece of eight quarter, which you all know is two inch now, and I'll put it on the wood lathe, turn it to five and a quarter, bore a three quarter inch hole, and set it down there and that will keep the hub centered on my center post. Now the hub is going to stick up here quite a bit so I'm going to turn a second disc and put it down in this area here and that will keep that hub stabilized from rocking. So make me a couple five and a quarter inch squares. This was just out of my scrap pile. And if I find my centers, should be able to come out five and a quarter, which should be two and five eighths. Kind of turn this into an octagon. I don't have quite so much to turn off. Huh? What I'm doing is kind of keeping this semi parallel eyeball. Give me an idea where to cut these off at. Something like so.
this is my plan. That'll go there. And then I'm going to run a nut down to hold that in place. And then run a nut down about so far that will hold the top one in place. And that should, in theory, keep my hub pretty straight on my post. So before I take the time to run that nut all the way down this threaded rod, I'd like to lift this up and when I get this bar out of place, take these round blocks that I just turned and just make sure they fit correctly, just to be sure. So just a quick measurement on the overall length of my hub. I have 19 and a quarter inch overall length. So as I'm set up right now to the center of my tenon cutter from the floor up, I'm 42 inches. And one thing I did try to make sure that my two stands are on one solid piece of concrete. No cracks or breaks in between. Most likely it's going to be the most level. This is an old floor. Not everything is level, but I took one uniform piece of concrete to mount them on. And from the floor up to the base where my hub is going to stand is just right at 32 inches. So 42 center on my tenon auger, 32 here. My hub is 19 and a quarter, half of 19 and a quarter, half of 19 is nine and a half, so it'd be nine and five eighths. On top of my 32, so I'm 41 and 5 eighths. I need to come up another 3 eighths of an inch on this stand here, but I have an adjustment screw underneath that I can lift this up so that both the center of my hub and the center of my tenon auger are both at 42 inches. And all this needed to be done before I can go to the next stage on these wheels. So this after work project is actually kind of a before work. Anyway, do you remember a year or so ago, it was March of 2022, my brother and I went back east to Maryland and remember I had a transmission problem in my truck and all that story. Well, we hauled back the belongings and furnishings of an aunt that had passed on and so we were kind of closing up that whole estate deal. Well, it's been sitting here for about a year, and now all the siblings and the grandchildren have picked through what they want, and there's some furnishings that are left that might apply to the 196 hotel project. So Diane and I are going to go sort through some of that stuff and find out what we can put into this building to kind of add to that 196 flavor that I'm headed toward. You know, part of my next after work project is going to be involved in the hotel to the degree that I can, because now that I have my summer project of redoing my barn, I need to pick away at this hotel. So we're going to go pick up some furniture. It's old early American furniture from my grandparents that just might fit well in this apartment. So we're going to go do that as well. And this is kind of a long weekend. We're going to make use of that and go do some of that. So anyway, I appreciate you following along on a before work project. And when we get back, we might pick away at that hotel and maybe show you some of the stuff that we're going to put into it. Appreciate you following along. 